Right, the first thing you want to do as a new player is if you're aquatic or flying, come down to Red Island. You will not be bothered down here while you quest. And you can clear out the map as many times as you need to. If you're semi-aquatic, you will see some home caves near the island that you can go and get your rested bonus and then log back in. I myself have a few about like four or five dinos, the Suko, the Spino, uh, the Sarko, the the flying one that I'm using right now. And pretty much, I think the duck as well. <laughs> pretty much anyone who can swim or gonna swim, I have farming over here. Um, so this is probably the best area for those type of dinos. Of course... Everyone's probably already said it in chat before. Second best place to do your quest is at the edge. I prefer to stay around this area as there is free shark food guaranteed. There's usually sharks all around the coast that you can feed on if you're struggling for food. But for sure I can guarantee you there's a shark here that will always be here. I haven't had much luck finding the sharks on this coastline, usually randomly when I'm playing as a Kai. But this area has a home cave for both your semi-aquatics. You'll have multiple choices to go to. But if you're only a land-based dino, you would still have this home cave, plenty of water to drink up here, and shark meat and little critters to attack for food as well and around here the trees are pretty thick the bushes are pretty thick as well so you'll be able to hide most of the time everyone's in the middle areas so you shouldn't really worry about many dinos down here Two reasons why I love Red Island the most for grinding my aquatics and flying types is because there's sharks all around the shore. But if you go to the center of the island, somewhat center, you can farm fish as well for your Sukos and your Sarkos and Spinos as well. And then you can quest all around here, finding the bloodstones the flowers all around the water, the um, the branches. I ha I've had people comment in chat, global chat, saying they cannot find the branches. Best place to find the branches is literally everywhere in this area. That's kind of just like the mid area, but you're gonna, probably going to be finding most of them here as they will regenerate by the time you come to this side and by the time you come to that side you should be able to get all your branches that is probably the only quest on this island that takes the longest because you have to search a decent amount to find just the you know base minimum but every other quest is easy all the bloodstones are farmed here and then the flowers are usually around the water any shells needed there's a bunch in the center of the water and then you can just find turtle shells all around the coastline when you get that quest and there should be for the semi-aquatics there should be a home cave over here so you can just rest them swap to another um like i said earlier i have five dinos that i do this with so if you're a new player and you plan on leveling a semi-aquatic and don't want to be bothered, you're a solo player, or even if you plan on playing with somebody, this is the best area to start out and get your foot in so you understand how to begin with quests, you understand how to keep yourself fed. This is fresh water in the center, so you can also satiate that, your thirst, and that way you won't be getting stomped. 
on all these areas. Like I said, I like to keep close to this coastal area and this island and I go back and forward to do my quests. So with those people having trouble finding branches, you can start here and look for any of the dead trees. I don't crash into something. Any of the dead trees like this will have branches. You can see a few more over there. There's one, two, three, four. And then I believe there's one over there. Just make sure I'm not missing one. There's one over there. So five. And then six right here. With seven being over there. And then you can just rotate them because they will cool down by the time you finish them but if you do need to go let's say you're doing a co-op mission there's eight over there a little distance nine ten eleven i believe there's one more over here or might be the other direction. There's one down there. 12. You can tell because all the green ones are covered. All the dead ones from a distance don't have any leaves. Oh, there's one hidden in here too. But those are all the locations for the branches when you need them for the quest. I love that there's fresh water at the center of Red Island. Makes it so convenient for anyone who wants to hide out here. And the fact that there's fish also helps the semi-aquatics.
If you ever need flowers, they're always going to be around the water. So you're not going to have to look far for these. The flowers are located near the water. Pretty easy to scope out. 